Well, YouTube, you're looking at my new portable boom box in pieces. Homemade boom box. This was a Stone Age computer I got from my friend. It's an old compact presario. Get this. Windows 95. 8 gigabytes of memory here, I'll, or 16 gigabytes of total memory, 64 maybe. This is what the memory said on it. This is the motherboard. 2 gigabyte hard drive. Hardly operable for anything else. So, now my plan is going to be a little bit of work, but go ahead, Dad. It's all right. My dad leaving in his towel. <laughs> I'm going to cut a hole here, somewhere in here, decide how this is going to work. I might do it up here. It's got the braces for it. This is the front of the computer, the skeleton of it rather. It's got the credentials, I can remount, let's set this up here so we can see it. I can remount this in here, up higher, so I can remount that stereo. And I can manipulate it just about any way I want now. Cut a little bit out of the metal here with the tin snips or something. My plan is eventually to have a computer fan in here. I'm going to maybe get a colored one, but right now it'll have to be a, a uh, standard. Um, and I'll cut it and put it in this power supply. Now I don't know exactly if this power supply will work because it's got, it's 150, this is what it says. 150 watts. Well. In my view, that's about what a stereo takes. I don't know. Let's see what the stereo says. It doesn't really say what it takes. But you know, if it's too much, it won't st start a fire. It'll just blow the uh, uh, power power supply up. But the neat thing about this power supply is I don't have to try and figure out how to turn it on. I've had bad experience with that, trying to turn it on. There's a power switch. So, zip, 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 done. That's my hope. So, and those controls won't be nothing. That's this Windows idea of being, Compact's idea of being technologically advanced. <laughs> um, newer compact keyboard this is off my current computer my laptop took a took its last tumble up yonder so that's where she sits this isn't going to be my tower <laughs> but um Anyway, here's the hard drive that came out of it. I can't believe this thing. Forty-five hundred RPM. And if you read that right there, two point one gigabytes. Now I have seen hard drives and they're almost twice this size. They're about like here. You know, one gig, 500 megabytes. I worked for a little while for a computer guy taking computers apart. I was blown out of the water when I seen that, but I suppose they had to start somewhere. That computer had Windows 3.0 on it. <laughs> now there's a joke. Um, I believe I've even seen a 250 megabyte hard drive. Even bigger joke. When we've got flash drives now, I believe that can hold 64 gigs in this tiny little package. So you tell me.
that versus that. And it did have a normal disk drive. Now we're not talking CD burner, anything. It's just your standard disk drive. And the casing on there said 1996. There's some pieces you can use. All your ribbons are basically transferable. Now well, here's your your data carrier for or your yeah data carrier for your disk drive. Anyway, stereo going in. The Sony Explode, the infamous Sony Explode that was in the Topaz. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Hint, hint. But once I get a schematic for this bad boy, in the next couple of days, we will see this up and running. Speakers going in are those speakers that came out of the junkyard. These. Peak power rated at 170. Minimum power of 40 watts. I don't know, guys. We'll have to see what happens. I got smaller ones I can use if those don't work. My thinking is I'm probably going to blow up that power supply, but we'll see what happens. There are thousands and millions of others out there I can use. Anyway, have a good day.